Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to take a look at controlling multiple radios with FL Rig on your Raspberry Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so this is something that came up in the forums the other day. And guys, if you're not uh, subscribed to the forums, I'll leave a link to that right here on the screen. A lot of good conversation happens over there and a lot of problem solving uh, happens over there. So you might want to uh, definitely check that out. But it came up in the forums, how could we use one Raspberry Pi with multiple radios. And one of the big things uh, that was being discussed over there was how to use FL Rig to easily control two different radio setups without having to go through and reconfigure FL Rig each time. And it wasn't something that I've done in the past. Uh, normally, what I would do is for each particular go kit or radio setup that I have, I will just add a Raspberry Pi to that setup. And that's why I have half a dozen or more Raspberry Pis laying around. But if you wanted to take one Raspberry Pi and move it from kit to kit to kit, we wanted an easy way to do that. Uh, and like I said, I'd never done it before, but it was something that I thought was worthwhile trying to figure out. And now that I've got that figured out, I want to share it with you today. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi and take a look at the way this is done. Okay, so here we are on the Raspberry Pi, and you'll see that I've got my 891 configured and set up just like you would have your primary radio set up and configured with FL Rig. So let's go ahead and open the terminal. I'm going to leave this uh, up and running, and I've also got my Yezu 857D attached to this same Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And the command we want to run is flrig space hyphen hyphen config hyphen dir space. And then we're going to give it a file name. I'm going to use the tilde to indicate my home directory forward slash ft857. And we'll go ahead and hit return. And that's going to open a second instance of flrig. So I'll quickly go ahead and go through this and configure this transceiver uh, for this particular instance of FL Rig. So the rig that I want to use is going to be the 857D. And this right here, this port is uh, going, you'll need to open it and find your particular radio. It can get a bit confusing when you do this. If you aren't uh, quite sure of what to pick, an easier way to approach this might be to set up one radio and then open up a new instance of FL Rig and set up the second radio. When you do open that second instance, you will need to use a command like this over here. So let me go ahead and choose uh, this one because I know that's the one that controls the 857. I know that my baud rate is already set correct and the rest of this is just default. I'll go ahead and hit initialize and now I have control of both radios from right here on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over and I'm just going to spin the dial on both of the radios so that you can see those change on the radio or on the screen here and know that I do have control of both of these rigs. Now let me go ahead and explain kind of what is happening here in the background. I'm going to close that instance of FL rig and in my home directory here I'm going to run the ls command. And you'll notice that I have two directories right here, uh, one for my 891 and one for the 857. Now, I'm just going to clear this screen. When you run this command here, this flrig space hyphen hyphen config hyphen dir space, this over here is specifying the directory that you want to use 
uh, for your preferences and your configuration settings inside of FL Rig. If this directory does not exist, then FL Rig will create that directory. So at any time in the future, after I've opened my 891, I can come back and run this command again. In fact, we'll go ahead and run it now. And you'll see that it remembers the exact settings that we had and it's configured for the 857. Now, it is uh, completely possible to run two radios at the exact same time with the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the configurations and everything, but you would need both radios connected and you would need two separate sound cards. Now, on a radio like the ICOM 7300, the uh, sound card would be built into the radio, but on rigs like the 891 and the 857, we're going to have to have uh, external sound cards. And the setup can get a bit confusing when you're talking about running two different sound cards, figuring out which one of those is connected to which radio, but it is theoretically possible. So I could, in this particular case, have the 891 running something on HF, and since the 857 has two meter built into it, I could use the 857 to run something over two meters, like uh, maybe uh, Winlink over Packet or an APRS Digipeter. But let's go ahead and take this yet another step further, because opening up and remembering this particular command here in the field, well, that's just uh, not ideal. So let's make that a little simpler for us. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that particular one and we will clear this screen. I'm going to move to the directory. Uh, well, I'm going to use this command, cd space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash share forward slash applications forward slash. And that's going to move us to this particular directory. Now, real quick, let's take a look at my Raspberry Pi menu going to come down to ham radio and you will only see one instance of FL rig loaded here. We're going to do a little bit of modification to the menu so that we've got two entries for FL rig and we're going to name those entries so we know which one we're choosing when we decide to open this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to run an ls command. And you'll see this file right here, this flrig.desktop. So we're going to make a copy of it before we do anything else. This is our original file here. So I'm going to run sudo cp space flrig.desktop. And I'm going to copy that to flrig857.desktop and we'll go ahead and press return. Now, if we list out that directory again, you're going to see two different entries. We've got FLRig 857 that we just created, and we've got our original flrig.desktop. Now, to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to rename this flrig to flrig 891. Uh, that way I can easily see the difference in these two files should I come back to this directory in the future. So to rename this particular file, we're going to use sudo mv for move, flrig.desktop, and we're going to make that flrig891.desktop. Okay, so Let's clear that screen out and let's run the ls command again. Now we have uh, the basis for both of our radios. This one for the 857 and this one for the 891. However, uh, if you go back and look at the menu right now and we come down to ham radio, you'll just see two instances of FL rig. Well, that's not very helpful in figuring out which one controls which radio. So let's make that a little bit better. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this 891 file. So we'll go sudo nano flrig891.desktop. When we come into this file, 
we're just going to come over. Now, the, remember, the 891 is my primary radio. Uh, so this is the one I'm just going to make one modification to. And we're just going to say that the name is FL Rig. 891. I'm not going to change the executable file because this is the default way of starting FL Rig, and since the 891 is my primary radio, I'm just going to leave it as uh, this default start sequence. I'm going to press Control S to save that file and Control X, X to exit out of it. Now let's go back and look at the Pi menu again. Now you will see that our two instances here, one of them has been renamed FL Rig 891, and the other one is just FL Rig. And the 891 would work correctly at this point. However, this one is not going to work correctly uh, because it was just a copy of this particular file. So we need to go in and make a few changes to this one. This time, we're going to be editing this file here, the 857, or flrig857.desktop. So we'll use sudo nano flrig857.desktop, uh, and we'll go ahead and press return. We're going to come to the end of the name line here, and we're going to name this one flrig857. However, in this file, we need to start FLRig using a specific configuration directory. So I'm going to come down to this line here where it says execute, R-E-X-E-C, which is short for execute. And we're going to add a few additional things here. So beyond FLRig, we're going to add a space and we're going to give it that hyphen hyphen config hyphen directory. And then we need to tell it where our configuration directory is located. In my case, I put this in my home directory, so it's going to be forward slash home, forward slash pi, forward slash ft857, which was the name of that directory. Now we can go ahead and press Control S and Control X. I'm going to minimize the terminal since I think we should be done in there. And let's go back up to our main Raspberry Pi menu at this point. Come back down to the ham radio section, and you can see that I have two entries, FLRig 857 and FLRig 891. Now the 891 is already open, but let's go ahead and try this other one here, the 857. And there you go. You can see that it opens as well. Now, again, you could run two radios at the same time, but that really wasn't what we were discussing over in the forums. It was basically, how do I run uh, two radios with a Pi, but only running one radio at a time? So with this particular case, you could take this Raspberry Pi, go to the field with it, and then choose which particular radio you had connected to it at that time. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's a way you can use one Raspberry Pi to control two different radios, depending on which one you feel like carrying into the field that day. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.